These can't take damage or die. We get to attack again. Everything's got overwhelm. And they are very dead. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jarvan Tarek. Our next donation deck today. We played a uh, Tarek deck yesterday and it went pretty good. We're going to be playing another one today. I'm definitely still just really excited about having the larger Tarek here at 3-5 instead of 3-4. Our other champion is going to be Jarvan. Jarvan also got a buff. So both of our champions got buffs from patch 2-11. Jarvan now only needs three allies to survive damage to level up. That's pretty easy, to be honest. And so Jarvan should be leveled up a lot easier. And therefore, that's going to be pretty good because leveled up Jarvan will be creating these Cataclysms round start. And that's always very powerful. With this deck, another really powerful thing that it's doing is playing Taric with Golden Ages. So Golden Ages give an ally barrier this round and rally. So you can put that on your Taric. And then you attack, you support, Tarek supports some other um, ally, and then you copy the Golden Ages onto the other ally, so that means rally again. So that means you get to attack again. Pretty awesome. Um, so, you know, like that's, so that's a nice little combo that we got going on there. We got Zenith Blade in here to go along with the Tarek, because if you Daybreak a Zenith Blade on a Tarek, and then you attack, you copy the Zenith Blade over, it does do the like the exact copy where it does count the Daybreak again, so you will draw your other Zenith Blade. So one playing one Zenith Blade on a Taric will allow you to draw the other two. Get you that little bit of card advantage in there. Besides that, we just got some other good units, some challengers, some gem creators, some good spells to go along with Taric, and things like that. So let's give this a try. We're going to go play five games in ranked with Jarvan Taric. Zoe Heimer. This will be pretty interesting. Trying out new Heimer. Okay. I guess we mulligan the Jarvan, but I kind of want to keep the rest. I don't know. I guess I'll mulligan the Screeching Dragon also, but I do think Scree Screeching Dragon is pretty good. But I guess we don't need to keep five and six mana cards. There's the Triple Sun Forgers to help us stay alive against the more aggressive decks. Sunforger single combat is a good combo. Alright, prediction has started. At least now we don't have to worry about a uh, two-one challenger killing my goat. So that's always good. Yeah, we got one-one challenger. <laughs> Not so danger noodle. Mystic shot still blows up my. Yeah, so like they they're probably worried about sharp sight, but I mean they can do that. Mystic shot blows up my single combat ability. I don't know. Is that even worth it? Probably not worth it, to be honest. Oh, Derek, why don't I keep my, my spell mana up? Jewel. 
They're definitely a hush deck. That's something for us to think about. I don't really know what the downside here of fighting can possibly be. Like what, like a Bastion? Like there's not much, considering Tarek has a barrier. And if I if I like take the pass and then just go like with the Zenith Blade and then like Hush stuff and then like, that could, that's them playing more spells, they could like next round, you know, like level up the Zoe before I can kill it and, and so on. I feel like this is just the best thing to do. This is right. Yeah, they could have a second Zoe that strikes me, but I'm not nearly as scared of the second Zoe as I am of that Zoe leveling up. That is unfortunate that we drew the other one. I still think it's worth playing. That was the worst draw step for us, right? Because we were going to get that Zenith Blade for free, so we just kind of... Like, we were going to get that Zenith Blade for free anyway, so we just... Uh, so let's see. So we're at, right now we're at three. Support four. Copy over five. So I can level up if I play another one. Or if I play this Mentor. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. Fair enough. Honor guide me. Cascade makes that a little worse. I haven't seen the invoke card that they got from the Solari Priestess yet. It's possible that's the six mana obliterate. So they've played, what, all three of those? Yeah, all three Spacey Sketchers, and they've played two or three, I guess three. So three super cool star charts, three Spacey Sketchers, right? So they've gotten six of these invoke cards, I think. Okay, so you're at four. going like this, so it's going to be five, six. So I need to play this first. I guess I'm putting it over here, so I can't just get a free block with the 2-2. Two -two. Alright, there we go. Never submit. There is nowhere left to go but up. Never submit. Pool party. Tarek. Oh, you're 
interesting. So both these have overwhelm, can't take damage, die, all that kind of stuff. Expecting some hushes, but that's just how it goes. No hushes, okay. So we go down to five. Wipe the board. Alright, if we find Jarvan, Jarvan will be leveled up. So I think they've had all three Zoe's and all three Spacey Sketchers, and they got three Super Cool Star Charts, I think. There's all three with those. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, that could be the Obliterate. Break their spirits and their souls. I hope not. I think it's a little easier to kill. Like, if I try putting that on the Fleet Feather Tracker, even though it has more power right now, of course I have these gems to kind of change that, but it's easier to just, like, get excited. There we go. That's what I like to see. Good. Not 5 mana challenger. And they're out of hush mana. This is probably GG's. I would expect. These can't take damage or die. We get to attack again. Everything's got overwhelm. And they are very dead. I guess I could have played some gems, but it don't matter. Back heretic. Unfortunately, we don't get to attack again because the game's over. But Golden Age of Taric, pretty sweet. Taric's just awesome. All right, we are 1-0. Thrash Aurelian Soul. That's a cool deck. Alright, this looks like a good curve. Ooh, somebody bet 8,000 channel points that we're going to win. Nobody's bet that we're going to lo lose yet. Better win. Would this card be better if it was titled Mountain Goats, plural, since there's like the two goats? So I want to keep the gem after Taric. I bring clarity. The gem would help uh, turn on the nightfall for the Pell Cascade. Withering Whale. We've got a lot of space doggies cast against us. Four out of seven. This is going to be five. 
Yeah, that's worth it. Ooh. It could be good. I would like to do this Blessing of Targon on the Tarek next round and then have Tarek support the Jarvan with the Blessing of Targon next round, but we aren't going to have the mana to... That's 11 mana that we have to play next round. That ain't happening. Because the thing is, like, if they do that, then Thresh is a 3-4, and then that allows my protege to challenge and kill it. And if they want to, like, challenge the protege, then we have... Yeah, so it's... They're in a tough spot. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. But I guess they get to challenge this thing and kill this. One, two, three. That would give me some gems. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have played that. That that probably wasn't good to play that. Um, whoops, I guess that's this deck. Um, all of my decks can be found there on Mobilitics, and that's where you could find, like, the... Uh, so, like, the reason... I wanted to play another unit to give the tracker a challenger, of course, but... Yeah, this didn't work out. I should have just passed when they passed. That didn't work out. But that's life. Anyway, um, that's where you can find the Twisted Swain deck. I mean, I'm not going to really single combat anything here, I don't think. I don't see any reason to single combat. Jam gets the job done. There is nowhere left to go but up. Shatter that. To the flag. Oh right. That's why I want to do blessing of Targon, is because I didn't really want to just pull have Jarvan come in. But I guess it's a little too late for that. I guess we got Jarvan. I wanted to, cause, cause they can just like take this and like next round ruination, and I didn't, you know, I didn't want to like have all those You're die. But I guess we'll we'll still have leveled up Tarek in hand in case of ruination. They did have hush. Okay. Where are you at? You're at three out of six. That'd be five. Would it make more sense to do it with the Taric that can't take damage or die? Probably. In case of vengeance. It was vengeance. Alright, so Jarvan's leveled up. We're going to draw Golden Ages. Told you. And... We will surprise them with Golden Ages. So that's four, five, six, seven. So if I want to go Golden Ages and Zenith Blade this round... That's seven mana. Yeah. I think so. So we're gonna okay, so the plan is go Golden Ages attack, support it on over to the um the challenger. And then uh then we get to attack again, of course, and then play the one two we wouldn't you know, like the uh the thing that gives overwhelm. We wouldn't like draw a card, we wouldn't have the daybreak with the overwhelm anymore. But I wanna play it second, uh and then, because then we'd still copy the Overwhelm, and so we'd copy the Overwhelm over. So our second attack, they would both have Overwhelm. But I'll check it out. So I, do, I always do the games, and I so like this is the schedule for today. 
And I always play in five game sets. So we're doing, you know, five games here for Jarvan Tarek right now. Then we'll be doing five games with these other decks today. All right, Renekton, Sejuani, Sivir. What is my professional opinion on the Lurk deck? It's still getting there. It's still, you know, every, like we're still kind of working out exactly how to um, play the Lurk deck the best. I like the Sunforger in this matchup, and I like these spells, but we need units, so I'm going to just mulligan all the spells. Anyway, so yeah, the Lurk deck, I uh, I do like the Lurk deck, but I think it's, it's proven that it's not as easy as just, as like we thought it was going to be to build. Um, I've, I've come around on not playing any of the Predict cards. I've come around in basi basically treating Lurk like Allegiance is the way to go, and where you only have five or maybe six max of non-Lurk cards in your deck. And, because, uh, you know, like you just never want to miss Allegiance, you never want to miss your Lurk. So I think that's, that's the way to go. This land is ours. I love that. That's such a bad use of Shapestone. Shapestone's such a good card. All, all that I had left there was like a little 2 1. Like, just like, Shape, Shapestone's a much better card than Omen Hawk at this point of the game. And they could have just. The strength um, of the sun and my faith are one. They could have just killed my my thing. My my card was vulnerable anyway. They could have just killed it with Omen Hawk. That was a, a very bad play. And could have saved that. Like, they could still have that one mana and Shapestone right now. And we're looking, you know, like, yeah, that was. Not a good play. So very happy about that. Doesn't mean I'm gonna win, right? <laughs> like they could still keep on, you know, playing like a bunch of spell shield, quick attack things, and renect. You know, we could definitely easily lose this, but I'm very happy with the, that how that went. Okay, so they're passing here. I am going to. Oh, Tarek. Tarek, why are you so good? Hmm. Now what to do? I bring clarity. I guess I gotta play Tarek. So I kind of recommend playing like all the lure cards for the most part. Sharp. And then figuring out like the other like basically five cards. They had another shape stone. Sometimes you get rewarded. Sometimes you just get rewarded. Her light is our sword, her womp, our armor. Yeah. <laughs> Cirque says, I don't like the Lurk design. You type Lurk in the search bar and add all the cards in the deck. Yep, that's... That's what it is. That is exactly what it is. I definitely should have attacked with my 3-2 as well. That was... I should have attacked with the 3-2. I was just kind of focused on like that and like what I was going to do with single combat and everything like that, but I should have attacked with that 3-2. Alright, so Concerted Strike's 5 mana. That means I have 6 other mana. So I could Concerted Strike, Golden Ages, single combat. That means no 
protege. So if I go if I go protege, that's no golden ages. That is probably okay. I could probably wait till next round for golden ages. Who does not know the name Laurent? I think. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Could also pass here. Wait till after attack for the mentor, because I doubt they're passing. But I mean, it, that's the thing is, it's it's just possible they pass. But yeah, you wouldn't expect them to. Not the block I was, or not the. That was not what I was expecting there. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Yeah, that's exactly what I was expecting. Good draw. Furious. Alright, there we go. I was kind of thinking of Shapestone. Shapestone was about the only thing I could think of for one mana. I wanted to make sure to kill them through Shapestone, but... Alright, Jarvan Tarek is 3 and 0. Oh. First start. Echo Zillion. Echo Zillion, pretty cool. I could see them struggling with our larger units, like our Screeching Dragons, Jarvins, that kind of stuff. But I still I want to curve out with units. Sharp sight, sharp sight's just too good to to mulligan. All right, that looks good. Ooh, got double screeching dragon. All right, so we're gonna save up our spell mana the first two rounds, and then we got things with a lot of health after that. Protege, Jarvan, screeching dragon. I like it. And we do have the attack tokens on the even round, so we will be able to attack immediately with the Screeching Dragon. Um, for the opponent's side, you do love seeing Fallen Feline immediately. And then you get your predict cards and shuffle those Hexite Crystals back. So we both got kind of what we want, right? Like, this is the this is what I want. They got what they want. So this will be interesting. I could see just not even doing this, but no, nah, we'll do it. Helps our uh, yeah, helps our Jarvan level up and basically Protege gonna be a two for two for one, right? Like they'll just like mystic shot it. Wow, all three kitty cats. Beauty and life. All three cats. Cool. Didn't get a free crystal. Yeah, it's, it was released, Legends of Runeterra was released on April 30th of last year, out of open beta. I guess I started playing in open beta in like late, late February. 
last year is when I started playing. I, I used to play Magic the Gathering and came over to Runeterra. There's no rush. So killing the 3-3 three, three because then and that's just like the, a free kill because the sharp side added 2 health, the toughness added an additional point of health. Got 3 free health there. I could Golden Ages and, you know, attack twice, but I do want both Screeching Dragons in play before I do that. I'm going to be playing the other Screeching Dragon. Getting these screeching dragons in play is good. I've been practicing, and it's not perfect. If your prediction is correct, they are very good. Much to look forward to. See what I've learned. It's time to shine. To protect all. Do you think Tarek is better for Shen than Jarvan? Wait, do you think Tarek is better than Shen for Jarvan? Kind of depends on what you want to do. I've been very happy with, with Tarek so far, I have to say. Okay. Doesn't do a whole lot. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. All right, we're going to go for it. If I would have played the, I know I haven't really been, been talking too much. Sorry, I've been you know like this. These support decks aren't like the easiest thing to play. If I would have played the single combat first, we would have had the Taric leveled up and then can't take damage or die, like all that kind of stuff. Okay, so that I guess I didn't check exactly where that was. That echo. I probably should have played the single combat first. So I won't be killing them this round, will I? No. Oh, good card. Good card. That was, that's really good. All right, well, I... Oh, ho, to save against that. That was a good card right there. Wow, that, that was really nice. Okay, well, this got um, a lot more difficult. Yeah, good, good card. I should, yeah. I just shouldn't have played that single combat. That single combat really hurt. That cost me. That really cost me. Well. That was a good... I, I didn't think that they would have anything at the one mana that uh, really hurt. 
Alright, should have passed around. You know, like, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do. I should have just passed the, the around. We love it when they run! Jarvin? No Jarvins. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Eight damage. I think I should have just put I should have put the gem over on the Taric and the other gem on the Taric, so I would have made it six for the Taric and then had the sharp sights make it eight. So Taric would have been lethal considering Taric can't take damage, die, and, and likelihood is they don't block. Yep. Yeah, good lesson learned. I, I didn't really quite think about that, but I, I should have put this the second gem on the Taric. I think I would have just killed them. Not a bad draw. We get to just draw, because we can draw some cards. Good to draw some cards. Things aren't gonna improve themselves. Gotta focus. Watch out. Why is the one three attacking? Okay. Found all three Hexite Crystals. Okay, they don't have the mana to play this Hexite Crystal right now. I guess I am in the mode to... Oh, they have another attack token? I forgot that thing rallies. Legit forgot that thing rallies. Gross. I was going to be open attacking. And, you know, Tarek would support the Sunforger. Neither one of them would take damage or die. Jarvin! Not Jarvin. All right, we got there. Man, that was probably closer than it should have been, honestly, for the cards that I had. My opponent played very, very well. And I think that uh, that game was closer than it should have been. All 
All right, we got um, Lurkers. Okay, so I love Tracker, Goat, Taric. Single combat, I'm not sure about. I think I'll keep single combat. I could definitely see single combat doing some work. That's the one I wasn't sure about. All right, so I like seeing that. As long as, you know, it's not like Pike on top. Um, but, you know, like that's just a waste of a card. So I like seeing that. Because, you know, like everything's traded. We have four cards, they have three. That's good. Definitely see passing. Don't have anything for Tarek to support, but... No, I play this. Looking into the future, I see... Purple? Don't worry. I am here. I'm not worried. Should I be worried? Nope. We said don't worry. Like, as long as there's no pike spell, death from below, just kind of in this game, I, I think we, we win this. It, the pike spell is the card that... That's the card that makes this deck good, <laughs> right? Is the card. I'll take my shot. Yep, I do sense sense you all. No further. That's too bad. It's gonna be our loss. Keep us from our 5-0. Wish we could we could play this matchup again. I especially for seeing how these cards line up. I really like our chances in this matchup. You know, but good hand. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Never turn your back on the sea. All right, good game. Pike is awesome. I got I got pretty punished for attacking with the Mountain Goat on round two, because then I had to play the Mentor of the Stones and it just enabled the, the Pike spell, everything like that. The the Pike spell really turned that around though. But we'll take a four and one. Four and one is awesome. Um, yeah, we'll take that for Jarvan Tarek all the time. Uh, let's see. I really liked how this deck felt. I think Tarek felt really good, right? Tarek was just cons consistently winning a lot of games for us. Um, yeah, I really liked how Tarek felt. I understood going down to like one mentor, and honestly, I kind of want to get rid of mentor. Um, it was okay, though, in some of the other games. You can get a lot of gems, and that's pretty good. But I could definitely see playing the third Pale Cascade instead of the Mentor of the Stones because of how good Pale Cascade is with Taric with being able to draw the multiple cards. Golden Ages was awesome, right? Like, whenever we got to Taric Golden Ages, that was awesome. Um, yeah, liked that quite a bit. Uh, Screeching Dragon was awesome also. Jarvan, we just never had. You know, like, sometimes, you know, like, in just five-game sets, you know, some, you know, sometimes you have stuff, sometimes you don't. We only drew Jarvan, what, one time in any game? Or, like, I guess we had it technically that last game, but, you know, we weren't able to play it. But I think we only had it come in one time against the, the Thresh deck, and it got vengeanced immediately. But, yeah, Tarek, 
Tarek looked great. Tarek, Zenith Blade, Golden Ages, all that looked very good. I liked the Sun Forger and the Screeching Dragon and the Protege, just the size of these units having, you know, four or five health with all of those. I was, I was definitely a big fan of that. So it looked good. Look good. All right, so that's going to be Jarvan Tarek. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. And, you know, let me know what you think of the deck or anything else. What do you want to see? Uh, what other kind of decks do you want to see on stream or, um, you know, what? Uh, yeah, anything like that. All right, but that's going to be it here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.